Hello and welcome to a new video about, well, a, actually a new series of video because I, I want I want to control a motor. Yeah? As motor, I've selected this little fellow here. This is from the Arduino starter set that I bought. Uh, so this should be sufficient. I just want to see if I can control it. Speed control. I want to have speed control. I want to have uh, direction control. So I need a bridge. Uh, motor bridge, H bridge. I will use this L293D motor bridge, uh, also from the Arduino starter kit. However, I want to control this by MQDD so that we are receiving the commands by MQDD and then the motors changing direction, changing speed, and so on. This would be my, my goal. Uh. Therefore, I need a controller which is able to receive MQDD messages. And, well, I'm again selecting the ESP32. ESP32. This little piece here, this little uh, motor driver, this is a 5 volt logic. Okay? The internal logic works, works with 5 volt. With the Arduino, we had no problem with this. Yeah, you can watch this uh, video where I'm using this to control the speed and so on. This was no issue because Arduino is 5 volt logic. The ESP is 3.3 volt logic. And the first step is to find out if 3.3 volts are enough to control this, this driver. Yeah? So, let's place the driver some, simply somewhere. Over here. Looks good. All right. So what do we need? We need the motor, the motor control, uh, the the logic, the motor logic here. And I will use the V in bin from the ESP because this is actually USB power because this is where you plug in USB then have your V in has five volt. USB is five volt. So I'm using this. This should go here. Hmm, it's already pretty far away. <laughs> I'm going up here with 5 volts. All right. And then going down here, 5 volts. Then we have several ground lines. Where is your ground? Here's one ground. But also, also, I also connected this ground here. I will simply connect all grounds because then I'm not running into troubles if I am... This is a special breadboard, you know, where the grounds are not connected to each other. So I always ran into issues when I'm using this and wonder why is here nothing. But then there's a, there's a break. All right. Also these, these two sides I'm going to connect. So we have a nice, nice ground, nice common ground. And now we are connecting the, the grounds here as well. So these are these two are ground. These two are ground. Oh, here the blue ones are hiding. Actually, it does not really matter, I think, if we connect all grounds, because where are, why are there so many grounds? Because it's also acting as a heat sink, so that we are reducing the heat here. Then I will have motor plus. Motor plus, I will use here my voltage source and the motor plus, I will go here and I will use this this little motor is rated I think with uh, six volts ah turn on to seven then we see we want to have a kick eh? or a smoke <laughs> going up in smoke so all right so this is this is motor plus motor plus should be connected to here Let's do this. 
this is VCC of the motor. Then we need the two. We need the enable. Uh, where should I go with the enable? Maybe output. I don't know. Twenty-five. Twenty-five sounds like enabling. <laughs> All right. Then we need direction one. Now we use twenty-six. Yeah, twenty-six is good. And this enable is here. Yeah. And direction direction two. I will use. 27, 25, 26, 27. Good. Uh, directions here. Yeah. So these are controlling. And now I just need to also place the motor. Plus and minus is going here and here. The connection diagram is just like just like when we used the the, the Arduino. All right, so the setup, hardware setup should be done. This motor should run. If I, if I plug it in, yeah, that's power on, seven volts, okay. Mm, nothing is smelling. Plugging in into the computer. All right, hardware setup finished. Looking extremely Wired, weird, weirdly wired, <laughs> as always. It's if you have some wires, it's always looking like chaos. All right, all right. So let's switch to the computer and see if we can make a program there. All right. So at the computer, I've already. I'm using again uh, Visual Studio with this Visual Micro, because I like it, actually, because I like the features of Visual Studio more than from the Arduino IDE. And I'm confident that this is working. Let's see if this is getting destroyed right away. But I'm pretty confident that this is working. So I already called my project MQTT Motor Control. Yeah. So let's define some things. Define. Yeah. Uh, Pin direction one. This was twenty six. Then pin direction two. Maybe we should write it like that. Then looks looking better. This was twenty seven. Yeah, and then we said pin motor enable. This was twenty five. I will change this. Uh, I will start the serial monitor as well. This is good. Then we use some pin modes, of course, like always. Pin mode, uh, pin direction one uh, is an output. Here, this is working much better with the with the. Pin motor enabled. Okay, now I've defined all all pins. Yeah. Good. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. Let's just say digital right. Pin direction one. One. Digital right pin direction to zero. Yeah. Uh, analog right pin mode enable two hundred fifty five. Hmm. Why is analog write not available? Ah, maybe I need to load in 32. 
does this not support analog right? If I'm using another board here. Let's try using an Arduino Uno board. There, analog right is there. Ui, yeah, First issue, no analog right. First issue, it is not possible. Yeah. So I have to read something. Uh huh. This is working different. All right. This is working different. So, okay. So let's let's see. So it seems like this ESP32 has a LED BWM controller, and this I need to attach. It's, it's written here. I need to attach LED controller, attach pin. Yes, and I want to have it on pin. Motor enable the channel which will generate the signal. There are 16 channels from 0 to 15. Okay, 0, first one. Doesn't really matter. What is this LEDs again? Detach pin, read, read. Okay, what is, what is. Setup channel ah channel zero frequency frequency uh, five thousand five thousand hertz resolution eight bits should be enough okay Pooh. all right <laughs> already something right so let's see right. Channel zero and duty cycle uh, two hundred fifty-five. Hmm, this is working now. We'll see. Upload. We'll see if this is turning at least something. Yeah. At this ESP, we also have, of course, we also have then, of course, to to. When we start downloading here, now it's compiling. I'm really, really eager to know if this is working. Ooh, now I think I have even the wrong module. Now oh, we'll see if this is downloading or not. ESP32 dev module. So first, I think with this board, I need to. This is always good. Huh, writing. Oh, so it's writing. Is the motor going? Is the motor is the motor working? First step, check motor. <laughs> Antarctic. Yes, it is. Obviously. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Then let's let's maybe let's maybe forget about this. Yeah. Let's say digital right, digital right, and we say pin motor enable. Let's stick to the basics. One. Okay. Now there should be five volts. And this, let's forget this. Forget this. Now, let's. I think I have to use this, this low lin. Maybe this was also an issue. Download. Download. So we're just writing now digital write. Writing. Okay.
Okay, it seems it works. It seems it works. Okay. Good. Let's say uh, delay five thousand. Then we will switch off the motor again. Then we again delay two thousand. Just just to have some some pattern uh, to see if the direction changing is also working. Then we make this. But this time with 0 and 1 and we again delay this block. Then we should see the motor changing direction. One direction for five seconds. Stop. Other direction. All right. So this is working. The logic itself is working. So it is working with three to three volts. This is good to know. Now we need to sort out this this topic with with the analog outputs. Boop, 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 boop. Pa, 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 pa. I I'm, I've just out this this was done away yeah this I added again and here this I added also well, let's see what is happening hmm. nothing I'll put the camera a little bit smaller huh? because then if I forget to put it away you can also see what I'm doing. Uh -huh. All right. Something is happening. I'm not sure if this is what should happen. So let's see. Let's start. I don't know. Let's make it like this. 4 int i equals 0 to, to, to 25 uh, int i. If you're programming different programming languages, yeah, then sometimes it's getting a little bit confusing what to what to write now. Yeah? So if I equals for i zero e small smaller or equal than twenty five i plus plus. That's it. Yeah? And we will write here uh, i multiplied by 10. Let's see if it's getting faster. And then I will write uh, let's simply see. Upload if this is already working. Maybe the 5000 is, is a little bit too much. It makes some noise, this little fella here. Let's see. Okay. I think it's the it's the frequency. I think it's the frequency. I read <laughs> Yeah. I really have them to okay serial begin yeah serial dot print 
a shit step 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 print line I delay let's make every half one and a half second each step this I forgot before so so now now we should go up Let's see if this is working. Something is happening. Something is happening, but I'm really not sure what is happening. I hear sound of the motor. It's getting faster, so it's working. Yeah, yeah, it's getting faster. And now something, just something is happening. Okay. So we can control the speed. We have to, to adjust a little bit. Maybe this 5000, maybe we should use 500, 500 hertz. Yeah. And well, try it again. If this is working better, it makes an awful noise. 5000 hertz yeah. makes an awful noise. Uh -huh. I I'm not sure where it started before. Now it was step six, uh, so and it's sounding much better because you know it's now it's five hundred hertz. All right, all right. Now let's see. What is happening with 100 hertz? And maybe I'm also going from 25 to zero again. And then we will change direction. And do the same again. So then we should see, then we make a short delay of five seconds. Then we should see it speeding up in one direction, slowing down in this direction, speeding up in the other direction. Then we see the full, the full cycle. Ah, super. Download. This download. I really don't like it. That you have to press buttons. You know, but it was it was that way. Eh? Or it, it is that way. That there are several modes. That sometimes you are in operational mode. Sometimes you are in download mode. And you see, need to switch to download. And then the timing is, seems to be crucial. But shouting at those things does not help. So you need to patient. It's some sort of, uh, you know, om yoga. All right. Uh huh. Huh? Ah. Yeah. Step four. It's moving in step four in this direction. Going faster and faster. 
25 and now we should go down down to standstill let's see when it's stopping again this is working about what I'm not sure if this is already full speed this is already full speed with this with this lead control I have no no idea stand still now we're waiting now we should move in the other direction and we are moving in the other direction come on come on a little bit more power ah we are stuck somewhere where here <laughs> uh -huh. yeah I like to see off ah all right all right so actually we can really control this thing this thing is interesting with this LED controller it seems ready to work there comes another idea into mind but there will be another series of videos Yeah, I would say it was successful. It was a successful try. We can indeed control a motor with an ESP with this motor controller. So actually, I think starting with a, maybe we should do still a little bit tuning here. Yeah, let's see. What is happening on duty cycle? I don't know, frequency 50. 50 hertz. 50 hertz. Works even better. Looks better. Okay, let's try 10. This doesn't sound too good. Huh? This <laughs> did not look too good. So 10 is maybe a little bit too less. Let's make 25. Let's make 30. The middle between 50 and 10. Because 50, I think, look pretty nice. Yeah. All right. Another new parameter we can play with. Good. Yeah. I will do some tests and and and. Well, then we are going to enhance this to receive MQTT data again. Want to have MQTT data? And we will also do this from an outside world MQTT broker yeah? from HyphenQ, I'm using my HyphenQ broker here to see if this is working I will proceed yeah? you don't have to watch yeah? for this time, thank you very much for listening goodbye